Changing drive belts on an Edson blower or compressor. Before working on an Edson machine, always ensure the power is switched off. The control panel for the machine must be isolated and locked. Access to the key to the lock should be carefully controlled. Permits should be obtained from the machine owner to comply with any on-site safety requirements. Once power has been made safe, access to change or fit drive belts is gained through the lower front machine cover. A special key is required to unlock the cover panel, after which it can be lifted out and stored for refitting once the belt change is complete. Take out the Ertsen supplied jack from the Ertsen service kit. All new machines are supplied with this. On new machines, a transport bar is fitted at the base of the hinged drive plate and can be removed after the dowel pins on both sides have been removed. A jacking adapter is supplied with all new machines, seen here painted red. This should be fitted into the outer foot rail of the motor. Ensure the adapter is fitted correctly. It features a welded locator ring into which the ram of the jack should push, thereby preventing it from slipping. Jack the plate up, and in doing so, the hinged drive plate will move closer to the motor. The belts to be slipped over the pulley. Once fitted and free of twists, Release the jack to tension the belts correctly. Remove the jack and the red adapter bar and keep safe for future belt changes. Refit the guards to ensure all moving parts are covered. The isolator can now be unlocked permits removed if necessary, and the machine run safely.